What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Beers and. Today, we're going to be talking about beers, beers and glass. I was waiting for that. We practiced it, and I was waiting for that to shatter all over our hands, and it would become would beers been. and don't call an ambulance because I don't want to pay for the bill. <laughs> Dude, I hate that, like, you go to the doctor, and they're like, oh, it's, it, it, here's your copay for this visit. Yeah. Or, or, but if you get something done, you know, something extra. Like I got my eyes taken care of recently, you know, I've this whole chronicle with my eyes and I pay my copay. Yeah. And then literally today in the mail, another bill Oh, you got for the procedure. Yeah. You got to call the insurance company. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, if there's one thing. It looks I've... like they deducted some from it, but yeah. they did not pay for nearly all of it. I would check up on it. Yeah. If there's okay. anything I've learned from Rena Messina, it is you put that phone on hold and your phone on speaker, you do whatever you have to do, but you're going to get on the line and go, hi, yes. Your mom is a trooper if she actually stays yeah. on oh, absolutely. the line for... Oh my God. The number wow. of times my mother's... I've, I've watched her like, you know, clean the kitchen floor with... Um, this phone your call is important to us, so please stay on the line. What's the matter? Ma, can you go out? No, I can't leave right now. I can't leave right now. Our, they'll, they'll our mothers up. and fathers were just built different. That generation is just built different. Uh, welcome in, everyone. Yeah, welcome. You to, to Beer's End, if you've listened this far, don't forget this is a beer podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by Nick and Alex. Here we are. Hi. Hello, Nick. Hi, Hello, Alex. Alex. Hi. How are you doing, sir? You know, you look not, nervous. Not I feel like it's been a minute. Hey. Um, I, the weather's been confusing me. Oh, yeah. In that it feels like it's spring. It kind of looks like it's spring, but it's starting to feel like fall. I just went over this the other day. You know, there's two seasons that we have now are beautiful. Oh, I know. Hot, I love them. cold, and in between hot and cold and hot, cold and hot. Yeah, it, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. I'm waiting for, variety. you know, give it another two weeks and uh, it's going to be proper cold. Out. I hope, well, not that I hope, but like the, the couple of mornings that we had recently where it was like in the 40s, because yeah. I got to work pretty early and it's like 40, 42, 45 when I go to work. Oh, really? I don't hate it. Well, it's better than uh, uh, since we've last been together. You know, I was in uh, um, the great state of Alabama. Oh, that's was... right. Well, we both took trips since we've. Yeah. Uh, so we, yeah. Nick and I haven't seen each other in a while. It's been which, a couple if weeks. If you're following along, you know, because you haven't seen us in a while. Right. So Thank, you, thanks, by the way, for all the concern yeah, calls. We, we, really missed, we really missed you guys while we weren't here. Um, so you were in Alabama. I, I was in Massachusetts. We went to, went to Boston. We went to quite literally probably the Very first opposite. in the nation for like education and public access and uh, to the last. I believe in the that Alabama's last, but Boston first. Yeah. Well, Massachusetts. Okay. Is, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. They have some of the best everything. Uh, whereas Alabama has some of the, uh, the worst, n- not best everything. Well, they are New England. That is correct. England just new. Yeah. And Alabama is, uh, uh, Oh God! L- much like old Bama. Stop listening. <laughs> old Bama. Fucking Cretan. Sounds like a great. Oh God. Band. Anywho, you know uh, what? We're gonna drink beer, Nick. Yeah, you know, uh, and if you want, by all means, we should probably do this. Old. If hat. you want to see what we're drinking today, there you go. Come on over to YouTube <laughs> Beers and Podcast over on YouTube, and you can also come check us out over on the Instagram and the TikTok at the same. And uh, you know, if you care about Twitter, come over to Beers and One. Yeah, there you go. All the good things. Nick, what are we trying today? We're going to have our first oh. beer from Tripping Animals. Mm-hmm. So this is a new one for us. Uh, they're highly regarded in the Sour Game, much like 450 North oh, okay. nice. and Skygazer. So this one's called Wake and Shake. Oh, we have a little. Okay. Um, I like that little, little tabby all tripped out. I right, like that. Exactly. Tripping Animals. So this is a milkshake style sour. We've had a couple of these. Have in the we? Past. I know we've had milkshake yes. IPAs. I don't. I, I can't remember. We had a milkshake sour. sour as well. But I believe you. We've had a lot of beer. Yeah, I know. At this point we've, in time, we've this had is quite uh, a few beers. We, we are episode we are number seventy four. Seventy five. A couple micro brews. That's wow. Well, counter. Technically, wrong. we are seventy five. Oh, I believe. Now I have to edit my show sheet. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's okay. So we have a milkshake style sour ale with peach, strawberry, pineapple, passion fruit, marshmallow, vanilla, granola. And milk sugar. Oh, why do I feel like they've they've done too much already? I saw I saw a sign the other day. It was a sign like on a meme, and it, it said marshmallow was the new milk sugar. And oh, I've never, God. I've never related to something anymore in my life. Talk about think. really appealing to a niche market at that <laughs> yeah, juncture. Actually, I and, don't get what that means. And I get, well, then you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. Yeah. Go home. Get out of here. Turn around. So we're talking about glass today. If you couldn't tell by the uh, by the sound. Right, by the, the, the sound those sound effects. effects are all made here, pristine on scene. This is this is some real foley art hitting you right in the ears. Pristine sound effects, right? Um, so As I chew my gum into the microphone, I'm me... not even sure where this um, came from. This topic, 
I don't know either. You had suggested I think a couple I up different it, right? times. Yeah, you had. I think, uh, and again, I already told you. I think it would start off as glassware. You still did glassware, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, I uh, completely ignored yeah. any of that conversation and just did glass. That's fine. Okay, I like glass. Beautiful. It, as long as it's not broken. I do enjoy glass as well. Right. Um, I did break have glass break on me not too long ago, but I repurposed it, so it's okay. Because you, how? For years. You make a mosaic. Uh, the, it's behind it. I made a, a like a little stained glass. It's called like the poor man's stained glass. I worked oh. with resin and whatnot. Yeah, I had these really nice like uh, Murano glass champagne flutes. They were like my grandparents. And uh, oh, yeah, those are expensive. The well, yes. And then uh, then uh, uh, I had them all nice and set up. And um, one of the portraits that I've got hanging up uh, in the middle of the night must have snapped and took them all out. And I was like, I literally, That's my mother sad. gave them to me. I had them for maybe a week and Damn. they were busted. I was like, what the fuck do I do? Nick was like, make something. I was like, okay, you're crafty. Are. Yeah. You're much more crafty than I am. I I think because I really, otherwise the idle, idle hands do the devil's work. And I'm, uh, I'm not prepared to go down that route yet. Dead ass with that. Are yeah. you ready for a question? I am. Sorry. Okay. Question. It's okay. You know, uh, we can talk about it. This is confusing. A little bit. Because I, I smell all the fruits at once. I do. Strawberry, pineapple, peach, passion fruit? Yeah, one? but it smells, uh, but it doesn't sound, smell particularly like overly sweet by any means, which no, I'm enjoying. Which is, sounds, yeah, but yeah. that's what's confusing me, I think, because I'm expecting that rush of like, oh man, this is going to be like yeah. a glass of juice, but I don't, it might be the granola. Maybe. Um, but question of the day. Yeah, hit me. Do mirrors scare you? No, not at all. Mirrors don't scare you? No. Did you know that if you stare into a mirror for, I think it's over 10 minutes, you start to see things and hallucinate? Oh, I would believe that. 10 okay. minutes is a long it has time to, be, to, to... Oh, to stare at your reflection? Stare, yeah. It has to be in low light. Oh, okay. I refuse to try. Yeah, I don't think I also want to spend 10 minutes... Staring at myself? Eh, no, because I love myself, but, you know... Well, it's funny. I don't... And I was just having this conversation with someone else recently. I don't remember whose house or whose home I may have been at, but I was trying to like, you know, I was like getting ready and I was trying to like find a mirror and for the life of me, I couldn't find like a commonplace mirror. And then I thought about it and I was like, you have many mirrors in your home. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Like I've got one in the, I've got one in the foyer, just, you know, outside the front door. There's yeah, yeah. one in the bedroom. There's one in the bathroom. There's, you know, one here in the kitchen. I was like, you know, am I, do I have a complex? And then I realized, of course you fucking do. Yeah. You know, you want to make sure you look good in all rooms. That's the Capricorn in us. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. You know, it, it's funny because that's one of those things that you don't notice until there aren't. Like if you see mirrors, you're totally okay with, not okay with it, but you're used to it. That's 100%. As soon as I you think don't what see it, them. I think that's 100% what it was. You notice. Where I was in that mindset of how have I not like why can't I find my reflection anywhere at all you know uh, but yeah oh I, I I love mirrors luckily we have the uh, you know the old smartphone I don't no. like that though I don't either because it's never the same right it's I you know? feel like it's it's too in I want to just see me unobstructed in all his glory in all my glory yeah all the glory I am we are mirrors. we are <laughs> That's a callback, but you guys wouldn't get that. <laughs> oh shit! That's right. I was doing that before we actually started. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, I am scared of mirrors. Are not, you really? not scared? Like, won't go near one. Yeah, but like, I low key believe that they're portals into other worlds. Well, now you don't. If I think correctly, you don't have any mirrors in your common area. We did not in the no, no, not in the in the main. But there's one, a full length one in. The bedroom. Yeah. And then there's just the other one in the bathroom. I said, really? It's just yeah. two. You know what, though? I will say we use we use all of our mirrors. Like, okay. meaning that we actively, like, I know that I've seen myself, I've seen Nick, like, use them. Actually and not just, using it. Yeah, and not for, again, just the vanity purpose of, but, you know, oh, someone's in the in the bathroom showering and I've got to get ready. I've got another, you know, mirror. I've got you got to do, uh, do a self-check. Absolutely. Self -check. I don't know what kind of sunglasses I'm going to wear for the day. And I've got to go look, ahead and see, you know, am I going to go for the big? Look good. Small. Feel good. And I do. I feel, I good. feel, look, uh, I, I feel like I look. Amazing. Uh, I th thank you so much. An absolute 10. Thank you so one. much. If the scale was a one, Nick would be a 10. Thank you. That's, that's what it is. That's I'll what take we're it. With. You know, we it. have, we have one more thing to rate today. What else do we have to rate? It's this guy. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Clink. Class. <laughs> really excited for my first day here. <laughs> I remember my first beer. Oh, there's like a chew to this. I don't have much of the chew. 
I got a piece of something. That is really interesting. Hmm. I feel like I'm not getting nearly as much of a separation between the flavors at all. Not however, at all. which is really weird. However, I do like it quite a bit. I don't hate it. I'm processing it. Yeah. It almost has like a pumpkin vibe to it. Yeah. I don't know if it was because of the fact that I obviously did just very, you know, uh, ineffectually have a piece of gum in my mouth. That could um, definitely, oh, that'll definitely change that. Yeah. But. I'm still picking up again. I'm getting very kind of generic. I shouldn't say generic. Um, unspecific sour. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the granola. I'm mm -hmm. getting the vanilla. I think I, I get like. The I like the marshmallow yeah. here because it's really subdued, and I think it's kind of matched by the vanilla nicely. I'm not getting a lot of the distinction between. I'm not getting any strawberry. You see, and I feel really. like I'm getting more strawberry than I am of, of the pineapple. See, and I feel like I'm getting pineapple, peach, and passion fruit, and no really? strawberry. And I feel like I'm getting more of the, the strawberry aspect and of no, things. And not nearly as much of the pineapple no, and, really? and uh, peach. It almost is like kind of mango-y. Yeah, and I think that's coming from the passion fruit. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel like I could have done without one. Like, no, take out the milk sugar or take out the marshmallow. Hmm. <clears throat> I actually don't even really taste the milk sugar. I was going to say, I thought that it's it was, I thought this was marshmallow over milk sugar. It de I oh, definitely got, taste that. Yeah. It's got both. Okay. Yeah, it's I, got I'm, both. I'm with you. If you did without the milk sugar, I wouldn't know the difference. When I, yeah. Hmm. This is an interesting one to come back on. It's, it's not so nearly weird. as weird, but it's not nearly as, again, you said you got to chew. I, I don't, the f I must have like had a piece of something in <laughs> at that's first. Good. And, this is wonderful. Hey, you know, what's unfiltered. Look at I, it. Look, look what it's leaving on the glass. I enjoy it. Yeah. However. Do I love it? No. No. What, what about it don't we enjoy, though? Is it just like the amalgamation of the flavors and not... I don't know. You know what I think it's kind of interesting is because of when you were going through the flavor complex, you know me. Less is more. I mm -hmm. want each of those to stand out on their own to one degree or another. And I felt like I was going to be really overwhelmed by this and I wasn't going to yeah, like it. I'm not overwhelmed, that's for sure. I'm not. And and consequently, I'm almost underwhelmed. Okay. It's Yeah, I, yeah, I would say that too. Yeah. Because I, it is, it's like it's missing a punch. Like it doesn't have, it has like a, a round flavor, but it doesn't have anything that like sings through. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it needs, I think. I'm wondering again, you know, to your point, taking, you know, maybe one of these, I, I again, Pineapple, do away with the pineapple. I'm personally not you could picking up get rid of it. on anything. Pump up I, the I peach. I would say get rid of the strawberry. You see, and I like the strawberry. I don't, I, you know, it's, I really don't taste it. Interesting. I'm not just saying that. Yeah, it's really, it's weird. Hmm. This is one of the clearest passion fruits complex I've ever, 100%. you know, gotten in this. So maybe that's what it is. What's the, what's the ABV on this? It's guy? only five. Really? It's only, yeah. Huh. Uh, it's, yeah, only five. They're, yeah, they're on the lower end. Um, these guys I've noticed. Hmm. What do you think? I'm not going to look what, I'm, what we should start doing. And I'll look at it after is seeing how we match up with the. On oh yeah. Score. That's what I do. Yeah. We've gotten yeah. to that. habit. I never recently. actually like checked it out though. Like I never average our scores together. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to do that. Today. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with three, four. Oh, you're low. Okay. I, I, yeah, I am low. Uh -huh. I do really, I do enjoy it's it. It's good. I would go back. I would have a second one. There's there's just something that is missing that needs to come out yeah, maybe a if little mango bit. Mango was in here. Yeah. It'd be nicer. I, I don't know. Yeah, I I'm, I'm gonna go like a three, four, three, five. Again, it's nice, and that's not for it being Yeah, it's a weird uh, like, you know. There are many other ones that I've probably rated as a three, four, and it's because I've been able to point out something I distinctly do not like. Whereas with yeah, this, it, there's tell. just something that uh something that we don't care for, but don't dislike it's almost like that person where it's like i don't like that person but i don't dislike that person uh you know yeah a good third ring friend where it's like oh okay i'm seeing you at uh, uh you know at a christmas party that i see you at only once a year like they don't really line up with your morals and values but when you see them yeah. it's not terrible they're, they're not a the, good time they're not the best conversationalist like you okay. know you're someone i could speak with probably early in the evening but after i've had a couple of drinks my goal is going to be to like get away from you more than Avoid. anything yeah that's 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 where i'm at yeah <laughs> okay yeah, that's where i'm, I'm gonna at. go i'm lower too not as low as you i'm gonna say like three Seven five. Okay, all right. That's not bad at all. 
That's not bad. So three seven five, three seven five, three four. Three, six, so five, we're talking. Three, all right, so we're talking about a three five five ish average. Is that what it averages out? Yeah, something like, like that. Four point two seven on the old wow. untapped. So we're way lower. I wonder if this is one of those that, and again, every once in a while, folks, it, it does happen. Sometimes you got to get stuff straight from the tap. That's true. It it is very. The candidate wasn't too bad. It was, I believe, it's July fourteenth. Okay. And they, they make good quality stuff, so I wasn't worried about it when I saw the date. All right. Oh no, yeah. Th- there's there's. Hmm. It's definitely uh, good tripping animals. It's definitely good. I want to try another one from them. Hundred percent. I, I was gonna because I'm not yeah. again. There's nothing I don't like. Yeah. But there's nothing that's like. This is it. This is it. Like when exactly. we had. Um, it's a, it's great as a as a sour. Yeah. Very much so. It's I, not I, super sour. No, but I think it's it's strong enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh it's it's not bad. What did you say? Three four five. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Three, four, five. That's, right. how, that's how I feel about that. Booking on, booking on, broken Now I'm recording. 3.45 for Nick. Alex gets three. You know, I'm changing. Three, four, three, seven. Look at that. Episode 75, maybe 74, perhaps 76. And there we are. We're just <laughs> somewhere in the 70s. It's definitely not 76. No, I don't think it's 76. I feel like I would not know yet. if it was 76. Not, not yet. Not yet. Our, our bicentennial episode. Um is, oh, yeah, technically. No, it wouldn't be. Bicentennial would be 200th. Oh, man, I'm so bad at math. Sorry. That's okay. You know what, Nick? I'm going to learn you. Learn me. Because I didn't know this. Learn, uh, learn so me too. I was really fascinated, always was fascinated because mirrors fascinated me. Actually, one of my favorite things about a mirror is when you're in one of those bathrooms that has the two on the sides and the one right in front of you, and you can just look like into nothingness forever. My, I love that. When we were kids, my parents used to have one of those kind of, uh, I don't think, oh, were, were they the three, angled? Where they're all three, you know, there would be, it would divide into three doors. And oh they would yeah, yo, that tripped open. me out. Yeah, those that were super like 90s and those were the ones where you would just position them in such a way and you would like spin into infinity. Yeah, the three-way folding mm-hmm. mirror. Yeah, yeah, the mirror cabinet. Oh yeah. Okay, so if you know me, you know I love to know how things are made. Oh yeah. Or, just like how things work or tick. Um, so to get a mirror, you need glass. Mm. And to make, do you know how to make glass? Do you know what glass is made out of? Sand. It is made yeah. out of sand. It's made silica. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's ground or refined sand and then it's melted. Yeah. And that's how you get glass. Oh yeah. There's a place in town that's called like hot sand and that there's a glass oh, really? blowing place. Yeah. I, honestly, those are my favorite videos oh, yes. to watch mm-hmm. because it's just a glob of molten lava that some dude is just like whipping around on yeah. a big lava oh, dude it, yeah it's yeah exactly okay so mirrors obviously are made primarily of glass um they're much older than i thought like oh, yeah. ancient times old i had no idea um they were man-made then too which blows my mind even more didn't they yeah didn't they have mirrors like in in the egyptians and yeah, whatnot right th- in fact they did uh so at first it was just polished metal mm. was the were the first mirrors big sheets of polished metal used primarily by the upper class in Egypt, uh, appearance often reflected, pun intended, or even would determine position and power in society. Oh. So only only the um, the highest of high, the elite, had mirrors because they need to look, see how they looked all the time, right? Which is really unfortunate considering the amount of like inbreeding that used to happen. Like imagine, like, who's that ugly man? That's you, in, Is that in Breadbank? Oh. Is that where they... In, in Breadbank. In, yeah, Breadbank? in, in Breadbank. <laughs> so... The number of off-air callbacks today. I know, I'm right? Really, they, these guys don't even crushing get it. it. So appearance is often. Oh, sorry. So all this clamoring over how everyone looked, or you know how they wanted to look, meant high demand for mirrors, and improved mirror-making techniques would then come forth. Yeah. So in the 1600s is this process called silvering. So silvering is actually how we get our mirrors today. So a melted-down thin layer of silver is applied to the back of a pane of glass hmm. and that's it that's how you get the reflection really so glass actually like isn't reflective at all glass only reflects about four percent of light oh that's it Th- that's it huh. so it's like four percent away from being invisible yeah which i think is a cool way to think We're about like yeah transparent yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah. so we should start thinking about like how close is this to invisible like obviously we're a hundred percent away huh because we reflect all light i assume right oh that's interesting never thought about it that way huh yeah i like that so glass is pretty close to i like that transparent yeah so huh. technically, we could rank things on an invisibility scale if we wanted to, if there was a way to measure. Vampires. Like, totally invisible. 100%. Right. Because wow. they don't reflect light. They don't reflect light. Right. How do we see them, then? 
I don't know. I have you to, know, I don't know. I don't know. We're getting now. We're getting into like weird science, or not okay. science, really. You're I right. guess you're yeah, not at all. No, Twilight. <laughs> anyway, even though glass isn't reflective, one thing it does have modern times, at least now, is uniformity. Something that they didn't have much of back then. They weren't able to. So <clears throat> back then, it wasn't uniform. So you would get warped pieces of glass. So when I say warped, I don't mean like. The glass itself was warped, but more like the reflection. So people back then, even though they thought they had like a full on working mirror, most of the times it was like funhouse esque. Oh. And their their distortion, you know, their image would be distorted. Huh. Bigger, smaller, wider. Oh, that makes sense. Because yeah. of the warping in the um in the glass. Well, I know that, that that kind of reinforces one idea, like if you're ever, I don't know, like myself and, and, and you're trotting around a, a you know a flea market, if you will, or an antiques shop. Saw one today on the way here. I was going to say, oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, we're done here. That's been us for <laughs> beer's end. Um, if you can see uh, almost like a, a, like rust starting to come through the mirror itself, it's more indicative of it being, again, authentically old or antique. It's oh. like, got like a patina that's coming through. I'll show you. The one that I got oh. in the hallway has actually I... like streaks almost of... I got to see that. Um, uh, like oxidation that's starting to come through the, the front piece of the uh, the mirror itself. Look at that. Right? And now look how far we've come. We have full body mirrors, handheld mirrors, bathroom mirrors. There are even like the big office buildings that are oh, yeah. made mirrored on. Do you know why they do that? I Isn't it to not obstruct the like skyline? No, it's um, for better heating and cooling costs oh. because the glass actually traps oh. the heat and the... Interesting. Yeah. Meanwhile, I uh, uh, I I was again I was at the gym uh, not too long again, ago. Again, another again. gym story? Oh, that's right. They weren't here. They for weren't this. here for it. We are, we you are. guys, you guys need to come in earlier next uh, time. Sitting there, <laughs> fucking bird flies no. right into the Yo, goddamn that, window. Yeah, that's jarring. It, and it, it was, and yeah. it was one of those things where I wasn't the only person that was like you know present in that area. So we all kind of just snapped up and we're like. Oh, bird flew into the window Damn. again. Oh, yeah. It happens quite yeah, I've a never bit. actually seen that happen. Oh, yeah. I've seen it a couple times. It's it's sad. It's it a is sad. Little, it's a little funny. It's <laughs> oh, a it's, little funny. It's definitely funny, but it is but sad. But it is sad. We, we never want to see animals get hurt here. Hey, Ma, look at me. <laughs> we do like to see animals trip, though. Oh, God, we do. Yeah, that was good. Actually, that last sip was probably the best sip. Oh, nice. To All be right. honest. Um... Are we good on on traditional? Oh yeah, mirrors? you know I'm gonna on, start. I'm gonna start doing this. Look at to that. signal you. That, look at that. Taking cues from the master. Episode ninety four. <laughs> going ahead and getting things. Just trying shit. This out. is episode seventy five. Going on two hundred. Going on two hundred. Uh, so the first piece of investigation that I had done <laughs> into feels, glass feels awkward. That's fine. Um, was on the book called. Glass. Oh, okay. Okay. I know nothing about this, so, so I'm excited. You, you kind of might be. You, you're probably at least familiar with maybe like the book um, cover, uh, if anything. Okay. Um, so, if anything, it was written in 2007 by uh, Ellen Hopkins, and it's the second part of a series following the book Crank. Crank. I feel like I know. Yeah. Did we read that in school? Oh, no, that was Crash. That was Crash. No. But that, in the same vein, kind of coming out in that same period oh, okay. of time. Uh, so Crank was uh, published in 2004. And again, the follow-up was Glass in 2007. So it continues to follow the story of Christina um, as she continues to fight her battle uh, in addiction with crystal meth, though this time she is now a mother trying to find her way through. She's got a, she's got a kid. Oh. Now, this is no spoilers. This is a true story or... So it is actually it is. loosely based on the uh, real life story of Hopkins' own uh, daughter's addiction uh, and ooh, her sad. time in prison. Uh, and according to the author, the content is sixty percent fact. So it's it's a heavy, interesting. It's a heavy book. It's considered to be a young reader's book. However, uh, so when it was first released, it was on the top. Uh, 15 best-selling children's book from September to December, as well as uh, being featured on the list of quick picks for reluctant young adult readers, which is actually wow. a pretty cool list, to be honest with you. Wait, so this is a children's book about meth? So when I said when they say children's book, like it's meaning under 18. Okay. So like it's definitely okay. for like young adults. Gotcha. Um, so at the same time, 
Glass also happens to be one of the most banned or challenged books. Oh, I love that. According to the American Library Association. So between 2010 and 2019, it ranked number 86 as the most often banned oh, wow. or contested books. Yep. It follows the trend from Crank, which was, again, the first book. It has an average ranking of 38 in that same time frame um, and topped out at being number four in 2010 so the higher on the list the more oh the more it is like contested the worse off, yeah, absolutely the worse off it is so in 2022 this year crank and again the first book of this series um was one of 52 books that was banned in a utah school district um which managed to classify it as pornographic oh there were 52 books on this list five of them were written by this author no Ellen way Hopkins. yeah and i just wrote the fuck um because i absolutely fucking hate 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 the idea the whole book banning thing drives book me nuts banning yeah. and it it absolutely infuriates because me. like what what's the purpose of banning the book well because it's gonna hurt all children's yeah. morals and whatnot not as, yeah not as much as the I'm just going to stop there. No, you can, because the entire Bible is about fucking and fighting the entire time. I mean, yeah. I mean, if I can call yeah. it what it is. But, like, I, I'm fascinated again by... There's some of the most crazy books. They're actually, like... Again, they're they're interesting stories to, you know, to read. She's got a really unique style of writing, too. It's almost in, like... um Almost, uh, almost in like poetic kind of like prose oh, interesting. more than anything else. I would recommend. I think actually you would you would kind of get a kick out What's of it. What's the name? Ellen Hopkins? Ellen Hopkins. Yeah. And uh, again, it's it's Crank, Glass, and I can't think of the last one off the top of my head, uh, the third book in the series. But they're, again, they're, yeah. they're, they're like edgy. I books. do like edgy. Uh, yeah. So do I. Yeah. yeah. Edgy books for, for, for angsty teens. You know, I've been thinking about reading more, but like I want to read more like... Not necessarily self help, but like that kind of stuff. Oh, like get you know, like get out of your head and into your life kind of stuff. Oh, okay, all right. I don't have any recommendations. No, for no, that, I wasn't as I'm, okay. I'm not that kind of person. I want to read about deep espionage and people that are doing much worse off than I am. Speaking of deep espionage, I am going to go back in and rewatch The Americans. I was just with, talking about with it with my wife. I'm gonna. I have got to, her on board. Maybe I gotta because I didn't finish. Maybe we I'll need go back too. We could take this journey together. I would love to. Yeah, it sounds good. That's a great show. To Tusk. Tusk? The opening song from the first scene of the series. Oh, I feel like that's a great song. Why I don't remember don't it. you ask him if he's gonna stay? No, I gotta watch it. How do you remember that? Because I fucking love Fleetwood Mac. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. That tracks. Okay. For my second little bit. We're talking about glass. Oh, I know. it's surprising, right? Duh, Alex. I didn't realize I was here for so that. That's what the episode's about. Okay, this glass you've never heard of before. Okay. All right. Glass is actually a company, and their most recent product is called the Enterprise Two. Is the second in there? I actually, I did send you a picture of this a while ago. Oh, I don't um, think I even opened it. It's then. in, it's so in your apologize. Gmail. Either I'll bring it up and send it, resend it to you. We'll find it. Um, so the Enterprise Two is the second in their line of tiny wearable computers. Oh. I mean, these things are so cool, dude. Like, really cool. So believe it or not, it's a computer that you wear as a pair of glasses. So it's described as a small, lightweight, wearable computer with transparent display for hands-free work. Oh. So I've seen a few of the videos of it, and it's really impressive. There's, it's a pair of glasses. Yeah. And it has like a little... Almost like a little monocle that oh, you can I flip. I think I know over what you're it. talking about. Yeah. And then, like in your, on the right upper corner, like one of the videos, it's very job specific. So this company will, um, like talk to you about your business. How can we help you? Oh, we'll design this software for you to up your productivity. Hmm. So the one of the videos I watched is this dude, and he's looking at the schematics of what he's working on in his glasses. So it's kind of like. Hand, you know, you oh, don't need to be looking at the paper and then yeah. putting it down and looking at the thing. Or like another one was the same kind of uh, issue, but it was live feeding to someone who is remote oh. and was in the person's ear like, no, 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 it doesn't go there. It goes here, kind of like troubleshooting. Oh. So it's it's honestly really multifaceted. It's really cool. Um, oddly enough, this comes on the heels of seeing someone at work with Facebook glasses, which I also didn't know was a thing. 
I knew that they had rolled okay. those Have out, you seen the them? Facebook glasses specifically. Yeah. I know that they had rolled those out a while ago, but I thought I, I thought, didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. So they're like honestly, they, they were a nice color. It was like a like a forest green almost. Yeah. And you can barely see tiny, tiny, tiny little camera right above the lens where the glasses meets the huh. earpiece. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, like how how does it work? He's like, Facebook, take a picture, flash. I was like, son of a gun. He's like, Facebook, play this song. And like brought up the song. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's really strange. Huh. Um, so yeah, he was just like showing it to me. And it, it, I was not prepared for the, the actual flash from the no, glasses. Yeah. I, I appreciate, because it's one of those things where I think like the automatic sometimes like gut reaction to that is like, oh no, that's terrible. This is, this, the robots are taking over. Um, but especially that like first example of like being able to like look at directions These are at awesome. the same time. Like that yeah. to me is such a, a, a practical application where I'm like, okay, like, yeah, that makes sense to That's me. That's a safety know? thing. Absolutely. You know, you're working on, on, on in the, the back of a machine anything. on, on with computers and things like that. Like yeah. that shit is intricate. Or like on big engines. Absolutely. Or like big yeah. Pieces of, yep. So their pitch huh. is every business has problems. They need solutions to. And it turns out that their software or like the abilities of their software is super multifaceted. What's their, wait, what's the, the slogan? It's uh, their pitch is every business has problems they need solutions to. And like they're there to solve them. I love that because of the fact is that you could tell that they're strictly a tech company because they were like, what, what yep. do we, what do we do? It's like, what do we need? Um, yeah. How can we help people? people have problems and we can solve them? Be like, great, wonderful. Put it to print. Book it. <laughs> so it seems like they're, uh, the capabilities are limitless. Um, you can have Google meet with the glasses. There was, uh, like I said, a portion of the video where the work was being streamed to someone remote to make sure that they're doing it properly. Um, the ability to put diagrams in the field of vision. So like I said, the mechanic could see the schematics while he's working on the actual, uh, item and the safety value goes value of these glasses. Like I said, alone may be worth it for your business because if you can have two hands to work on something rather than a pen and paper yeah. or, you know, you need your hands for the tools. Huh. So it's just really cool. It's really practical. And I think this, like you said, we're moving in a direction where these things are becoming more and more important. And also I think they're going to start doing things that we didn't think were either possible or like helping productivity in a way that we didn't see before. If you can apply it again, I think in enough of those business type settings first and make it, uh, uh, and make it possible to show me that there are a number of benefits first, because I think if you release this to like the consumer market immediately and the commercial market immediately, it's going to get fucked around with, it's going to yeah. get bastardized right. and it's going to become again, the, the ire of, you know, Oh, there's a nanny state or, or, Oh, this is like, you know, nefarious as opposed to let the business, in the manufacturing world yeah. utilize it first prove its efficacy and then we can go ahead and start to use it to yeah you know take live streams then of our cats and put it directly <laughs> online or that is a good like point that, you know though because the public will learn it oh 100 percent. we can't we don't no can't I mean, that's nice, why we don't get nice things. we can't have nice things no no no, no. Uh, come on i don't know not who, at all know who they thought they were giving not it to at all no so i have talked a lot about this gentleman uh recently meaning that i did my research on it and then i utilized this uh in my class oh nice and yeah it, it's been very very convenient okay um so i, I thank you uh for this subject because it welcome. really made really made lesson planning quite easy for this past hey week. are you familiar with a gentleman by the name of stephen glass i don't think so okay so stephen glass is a or yeah is a former journalist for the magazine the new republic from 1995 to 1998. Um, so okay. he was hired there straight out of school as an editorial assistant. Uh, but soon, by 23 years old, he was promoted to work as a feature writer, which is oh, wow. huge. To really be young. Yes. Yeah. 23 years old writing it as, a, as a feature writer is monumental. So at the same time, he was also contributing to writing uh, for Rolling Stone, Harper's, he was contributing to PRI's This American Life, uh, which is a, you know, one of the most you know, kind of a quintessential public radio um, shows that's still on, uh, hosted by Ira Glass. No relation, however. Um, 
So Stephen Glass, however, uh, his writings earned him quite a bit of outrage from his subjects, um, even though his staff often defended him. So, for example, the Center for Science uh, in the Public Interest had released a press statement in December of 1996, stating that there were a number of, uh, of inaccuracies, distortions in his writing, and had hinted at even possible like plagiarism. And when this is brought up, the editor of the New Republic said, like, nope, not the case. Steve is one of our best writers. That wouldn't happen at all. In 1997, uh, Dare, I said the folks who did a great job at keeping us off drugs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Nancy Reagan. Wherever, <laughs> wherever, whatever is, part of hell. Is that hell... who put that into uh, Oh, yeah. Into yeah. Whatever part of hell she's in God, right would now. would come from her. Yep. Uh, the Dare program, or the folks at Dare, they accused Glass, again, of printing falsehoods. Um, in May of the same year, so in May of 1997, the RNC, the Republican National Committee, accused Glass of the same thing after he wrote about um, like these drunken, debaucherous uh, like parties at that year's uh, CPAC convention, Conservative oh. uh, Political Action Committee's convention, which is a big deal. Um, so all of these groups, again, were coming out against him. So by May of 1998 now, uh, Glass was now an associate editor, which is even higher up than that. Oh, wow. He's 26. All right. So in May of 98, at 26, as a, an associate editor, he had published a story about an alleged 15-year-old hacker who had broken into a uh, company's computer system. Um, but when the company had found out that they were broken into... They apparently approached this 15-year-old hacker and offered him a job as a security consultant. Okay, that, that, old, that old hat. Yeah. So the article opened, quote, Ian Reston, a 15-year-old computer hacker who looks like an even more adolescent version of Bill Gates, is throwing a tantrum. I want more money. I want a Miata. I want a trip to Disney World. I want a Miata. I know, right? <laughs> I want said, no one, said no one. I want X Men comic book number one. I want a lifetime subscription to Playboy and throw in Penthouse. Show me the money. Show me the money. Across the table, executives from a California software firm called Junked Micronics are listening and trying ever so delicately to oblige. Excuse me, sir. One of the suits says tentatively to the pimply teenager. Excuse me. Pardon me for interrupting you, sir. We can arrange more money for you. Okay, so that's how this article, you know, uh, was written. Glass had wrote, uh, written about. So a guy by the name of Adam Pennenberg, he was a journalist over at Forbes, became really suspicious because when he looked up the company Junked um, Micronics, um, he was only able to find one phone number along with like an amateur website, like a really kind of poorly put together website. Okay. So challenged. Glass claimed to then have been like duped, saying that like, oh, I was lied to. My sources, you know, had made this whole story up and I wasn't I didn't know this at all um, and took the lead editor of the New Republic. So his boss, this guy, uh, Charles Lane, they called him Chuck, to the Maryland Hotel where Rest, uh, Restill, the kid, had apparently met with the company's executives. Lane, the editor, came to learn that on the day of the alleged meeting, however, that the conference room had been closed and that the restaurant where they had all ate dinner closed in the early afternoon as well. So he was like, oh, shit, this isn't making sense. He then called up the one phone number that was connected with this company, uh, which was to Palo Alto out in California, uh -huh. um, and spoke to a man who identified himself as an executive. The man, however, was actually Stephen Glass's brother, oh who was God. studying in Palo Alto at the time. So when the editor found this out, this guy, uh, again, Lane, he immediately fired Glass. When all was discovered, it was learned that at least 27 of the 41 articles Glass had written contained fabricated information. So in the case of the D.A.R.E. story, uh, there was some real porting along with some fake quotations and information, while whole stories like that hacker piece were completely made up. Oh, man. Glass had gone so far as to create a fake website 
telephone number, he printed fake business cards, and even wrote up fake editions of a hacker community newsletter. Wow. Later on... This dude played the long game. Oh, the long game. Later on in life, he went like back to law school and tried to become a lawyer. Uh, he applied for the California bar, during which the total number of fabricated stories, either partially or whole, came to total... 36 at and, and he wrote 41 articles 41 Whoa. 36 at the new republic three for george uh, which is another magazine two for rolling stone one for policy review and another one for harper's harper's retracted the story when it had learned and it was the first retraction that the magazine had made in 165 Ooh. years Ooh. of publication you don't want to be that guy nope wow yep i mean hats off to the dude for really putting in the work I mean, he just fucked his entire career. Yeah, he, he really did. His, his entire life. Like, he was not, he was denied he was denied the California bar. Oh, yeah, he gets because, blacklisted for that. Well, for the for the yeah, from the journalism community, absolutely. But again, it's like you went through law school and you you know, passed or whatever, but you still have to go through like a border review and the California border review had basically said they were like, This guy has proven to not live up to any of the standards. You know how much of a dick you have to be for the folk, for lawyers to turn around and go, I don't think no, so. No, sorry, you're, we, you're, you're, you can't work Your with moral us. code is not exactly up to snuff. <laughs> yeah, if with lawyers what, are telling you that, exactly. oh, you're in trouble. So now he wow. apparently works at like a, I believe he's a paralegal somewhere at like wow. a small firm. That's incredible. The, the legwork that this guy had to do, not only to fabricate his own stories, but to go ahead and like, Make up an entire business mm -hmm. and and then a forum for hackers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. condone it, but shh. you can. But it's one of those things where it's like, if you just put, and I know it sounds like such a uh, like I sound like a fucking boomer right now, but I'm like, imagine if you put that to good use. But like seriously, like you put in all that work, yeah, for fake for fake what? Work. For no for reason. What? Yeah. yeah. What did you get out of it? Like why? Like. And at that point, after you had faked 18 articles, like, why not go straight and like, you know, this might catch up to me yes. at, at a point. Like, well, I need to stop lying to everyone. Yeah, but you know what it is. When you when you start to, to, to get hot, you know, it's one of those <laughs> yeah. things where it's like, well, if I, if I no haven't gotten... No one can gotten, touch me. It's almost like when you're speeding. It's almost like, well, I've been driving 90. I should slow down, but I haven't, haven't gotten pulled over yet. And haven't then the seen lights the go on. Exactly. Yeah. And then the lights go on. Um, so, you know, if you ever want to take that route, just know that one day, you know, uh, your life will be performed by Hayden Christensen. That could never, cool. that could never happen in this day and age because there's too, there's too much availability of news and information. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> my friend, I mean, there, come on. I mean, I, I mean I, like for, for, a for, for an, a, a writer to fake so many articles. Like I like I feel like it's impossible to fake that much news now because I mean the maybe, news is too available. Maybe in that in that reputable or that large yeah, in that forum. public yeah in that yeah. form. Okay, that that'll yeah. give you. Oh, although, it's definitely possible to pull the wool over everyone's oh, eyes. Yeah. I mean, although there are a couple like subsequent examples, you know, that do happen after this, where again some like really slipshod, you know, fact checking and like you know research into like sources has still gone through but on nothing to nothing this on this level absolutely yeah, that's not insane. it's also one of those things where like why are you going to take shots at some of the biggest fucking people yeah like yeah like play small ball yeah like if you're going to go for it and you and it's not true play small ball i don't know i don't know that's that'd be like me being a football player and sending out a stunt double to play my games oh yeah oh yeah or or one of those things of Almost like we were, you know, we were discussing a, a little bit earlier about like, uh, you know, athletes and like juicing where it's like, oh, yeah, I've done it. I've gotten away with it. I'm going to keep doing right, it. I'm going to keep doing, keep doing it. it. It's like, you know, you're going to get caught. Yeah. But yeah, you keep, you know, shooting up until, you know, you, you get caught. And it's the same thing here. I guess without the shooting up, I don't know. I don't know what Stephen Glass did in his regular in his off time. And he who might have judged? He definitely didn't do his actual job. No, he didn't. No. But and and so far, a lot of you haven't either. That's right. We're looking at you with the hair. And yeah. The face. Well, you might not have hair, but you have a face. Well, you probably had hair at one point. You, yeah. We all had hair You're, at one point. I mean, 
I'm sorry, it's looking I, very full I, I right could, now. By I, the way, I could I, I I washed it recently. You can't, you can't even. I, I can't hear you over, over all the hair that I've got hanging over my ears. And yeah, that's definitely what it is. Blocking out the sound. Make sure that you like and you subscribe and you tell your friends and you tell your and family. And leave a review if you're not listening on YouTube. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Ah. But also keep uh, your eyes peeled because we are switching platforms soon. Uh, and we'll let well, you no, no, guys no, no, no. know. We're, we're switching. That, that's that's something on our end. They don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Well, just, just keep, keep your like, eyes out yeah. because you never know what's going to happen yeah. from Nick and Alex. You never know. Like, we're going to be gone, then we'll be back. Then we'll be back, then we'll be gone. But we'll keep you up to date on that more often. Probably. Maybe more likely than not. But probably not. Meh. See ya. Goodbye.